Welcome back to another Destiny 2 God Roll Guide, everybody. We're going to be talking about one of the best Aikilos weapons that came out in Season of the Seraph. That is the Aikilos SMG. This is now, hands down, one of the best SMGs in the game for PvP and for PvE. I'm going to tell you guys how to get this and go over exactly why this is the best SMG in the game currently. So, Guardians, let's get into this. So, this SMG is very easily obtainable. All you got to do is play the new Heist missions. And once you start leveling up the little table over there at the EXO in the helm, you'll be able to focus this SMG specifically, or you can just focus Aikilos weapons and just hope that you get it to drop. And there's actually nodes hidden all around the solar system. If you combine some resonant amps, they also drop from those little nodes. I made a video on how to do that, so go check that out. So like I said, very easily obtainable definitely worth your time so if you have limited resources i highly suggest that you focus on getting the deep sight pattern for this weapon first and then move on to the other aikilos weapons so the aikilos smg is a legendary arc energy submachine gun it's an aggressive frame high damage high recoil it fires at 750 rounds per minute and the reason this smg is so good is because the base stats are better than all of the other SMGs in this archetype. If we take a look at this chart right here, the Blood Feud, Cold Front, the Borrowed Time, the Tidal, the Unforgiven SMG, those are all aggressive frame 750 RPM SMGs. And as you can see, the Aikilos has the highest range, highest stability, highest handling, highest reload, one of the best aim assists, like basically all the stats that really matter, the Aikilos is crushing it. So when it comes to PvE, having the highest stats doesn't matter too much, but in PvP, it definitely matters. And this thing is a monster in PvP. But I would say it's more fo but I would say it's more focused towards PvE activities. So PvE or PvP, when it comes to the barrels, you definitely want to go for more range. The base recoil on this is already sitting high up there at 90. So it's gonna veer a little bit to the left, but I don't really think it's a big deal to max it out to 100 since it's so high anyways. So on the barrel definitely go for range something like hammer forge gives you plus 10 to your range and doesn't hurt any other stats full bore is going to hurt your stability and something like extended barrel is going to hurt your handling so definitely go with hammer forge i would say then when it comes to the magazine perks accurized rounds is there it's going to give you the most range but there's also serif rounds and if you're unfamiliar with serif rounds it's basically three magazine perks in one usually for pve activities you want to go with something that extends your magazine like appended or extended mag but i think the benefits of serif rounds are just way better it says right here on light gg that serif rounds combines the penetration from armor piercing rounds ricochet rounds and the flinch increase from high caliber rounds so it really is a no-brainer you get this one magazine perk and you're basically getting two other magazine perks for free definitely go with serif rounds for the magazine now, when it comes to the first column of trait perks, you got a new perk here, Shot Swap, Final Blows, Build, and Store Charges, which allow you to swap and stow this weapon at a faster rate. That's more aimed towards PvP, but even in PvP, I don't really suggest that one. You got Feeding Frenzy, Shoot to Loot, Perpetual Motion, Dynamic Sway, Threat Detector, and Killing Wind. Having a faster reload is definitely the play, so go with Feeding Frenzy in this for PvE. Each rapid kill with this weapon progressively increases reload speed for a short time. Stacks up to 5. Really easy to get 5 stacks of Feeding Frenzy in PvE. So go with Feeding Frenzy. But if you're looking for a PvP roll, you got some good options too. You got Perpetual Motion, which is going to give you bonus stability, handling, and reload. And like I said earlier in the video, the base stats are already so high. You don't really need Perpetual Motion. But if you want to max out those stats even more, Perpetual Motion is the way to go. There also is Dynamic Sway Reduction. Improves accuracy and stability while continuously holding down the trigger very good perk for pvp and then there's also killing wind killing wind is very very good on this weapon it's going to give you a plus 20 to range plus 50 mobility plus 40 handling you really are going to be able to extend the range of this smg even farther than all the other smgs and it already has a very good damage drop off at base with no range perks you're already getting 17 and a half meters and with killing wind active you can reach up to like 18 19 meters and don't forget guardians this weapon is craftable so you can get enhanced perks on this so you can actually get enhanced killing wind dynamic sway or perpetual motion then for the last column of trait perks you got frenzy tap the trigger gut shot straight pugilist surrounded volt shot and range finder 100 the only perk you should be going for for pve is volt shot reloading this weapon after defeating a target overcharges this weapon 
for a short period of time, causing it to jolt on its next hit. All of the background gameplay, you're seeing Volt Shot. I was lucky enough to get that on my SMG. And as you can see, I'm having no problem clearing entire rooms by myself. Volt Shot is the play for sure. Also, Frenzy is not bad either. Being in combat for a short time is going to give you more damage, handling, and reload speed. And then for PvP, you got some good options in here too. Notably, Tap the Trigger and Range Finder. Tap the Trigger is going to grant you a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. So if you combine this with Dynamic Sway and Tap the Trigger, you're going to have a very accurate SMG in the Crucible. But if you want to outrange all those other SMGs in the Crucible, go with the Range Finder. I mean, this weapon increases its effective range and zoom magnification. So if you pair this with Killing Wind and Range Finder, after you get one kill, you are going to be sniping people in the Crucible with this SMG. And then, of course, this also has a new basic origin trait, Rasputin's Arsenal. Breaking a target shield partially reloads this weapon's magazine, which is just a little extra icing on the cake. And that's pretty much all you guys need to know about this SMG. Great rolls for PvP, great rolls for PvE. You really can't go wrong. Like I said, for PvP, PvE, Hammer Forged, Seraf Rounds, Speeding Frenzy, Volt Shot, super juicy in PvE. And then for PvP, Hammer Forged, Seraph Rounds, Killing Wind Range Finder, that's going to be super spicy. Like I said, you're going to be sniping Guardians in the Crucible. That's going to do it for the review, everybody. If you found it helpful and enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. You guys can also follow me over on Twitch if you guys want to hang out for some live streams. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.